All right, check this out. Today we're doing parts of speech. We're doing all about verbs. Last week we did nouns. This week we're doing verbs. Okay, let's take us till Friday. Hopefully, this week we get through verbs in three days. We do a refresher course over nouns and verbs on Thursday. And then we do that pop quiz on Friday for nouns and verbs. So, hey, we need to make sure we're paying attention. Here we go. I'm going to stand in the back of the class. We'll work through this and we'll make it happen. First and foremost, what is, by show of hands, do not yell out, what is a noun? Raise, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Up front there in the outfit. Go ahead. Go ahead. What is a noun? Person, place, thing, or idea. Perfect. Person, place, yes. thing, or idea. That's exactly what you need to know. Guess what? Last week I know this. You guys would have said person, place, or thing and would have stopped. Now we know it's an idea too. All right? Verbs. Guess what? You know all of this information. The problem is you don't know that you know it. I'll give you one example. Last week I grabbed those books on the shelves and I said, I'm putting this book, this book is on the shelf. And then I grabbed a collection of books and I said, these books Oh. There you go. You know it. You oh. just don't know that you know it. Do you have any idea what kind of verb R is? No. I'm about no. I'm about to show you. Here we go. Write this down. The bold. A verb is a word that represents an action, occurrence, or state of being. You need to write that down. A verb is a word that represents an action an occurrence or state of being. Make sure you write that down. Crucial. You do not want to confuse noun and verb. You need to know what a verb is. Better write this down, T. Let's go. I will give you time to write all of these. And the good news is, if you don't get them all written down, you can go to my YouTube channel, subscribe, and you can get everything you need to know. Wait, what did you say? What did you say? I said that. You said write down. Write it down. A word that is a word that? Write that down. Okay. Oh, wow. He said write it down. And you're done, right? You've already written it down. Okay, good. A verb is a word that represents an action, occurrence, or state of being. First period, I asked the class, before I went to this slide, what is a verb? People raised their hand. I called on one of them. They said it's doing something. Just like the noun, person, place, or thing, it was incomplete. Doing something is incomplete. There's more to it than that. Welcome to seventh grade. There's more to it than that. The good news is, again, you know it, you just don't know that you know it. So, a verb is a word that represents an action, an occurrence, or a state of being. Don't worry about writing this part, but I will ask this question. A verb is one of the main parts of a sentence. Does, I thought that, what, what is the other main part of a sentence? If a verb is a main part, what is another main part of a sentence? Anyone want to raise their hand and... Yes, subject. subject or the noun, okay? A verb is an important part, but so is the subject because as we learned, we need someone doing the action. That was number one on our DLR. Number one on our DLR was nobody is doing the action. We need to know who is doing the action. That's why the subject or the noun is very important. What is the noun doing? That's why this is important. Here we go, this is the other part I would highly recommend you write down. These four things are what we're gonna try to do to this week. Today and tomorrow, we're gonna try to go over these four things. We might start with action and linking, and then move on to auxiliary and irregular, but today we're gonna to look at action and linking, but I also wanna end with uh, some examples. So, we'll do two examples today. Action, linking, Auxiliary and irregular. If I can zoom in on this, I will. We'll find out. Nope, you can't. Okay, good to know. I tried. You saw me try. Okay. No, I don't think it's funny. 
<laughs> there are many types of kinds of verbs. We're going over these four. Action, linking, auxiliary, and irregular. Write these down, big dog. Did you write these down? Ready? These four right here. Did you write those down? Write those four down. Come on. You got it. You're doing well. Keep it. Keep it up. I'm not doing well. Everybody knows this first one. Uh, er, Mr. Neiman is speaking. Okay. Action. Action. Speaking. Uh, Mr. Neiman walked right? down the hall. Yeah, Walk right? is the verb. Action. Okay. So here we go. Let's talk about action verbs. An action verb is a word that expresses an action that the subject of the sentence does. You know this. Okay, you know this. Run. I would write these four examples down for an action verb. Run, jump, ski, bake. These are action verbs. These are things that every person in this room can do. Okay? You might not want to run. You might not want to jump. You might not ski. But you might not bake. But you can do them. These are things that people do. During recess, I run on the track. You run. Uh, during in, in the gym, we jump rope. Or we jump for the basketball. When I was in Colorado, I was able to go ski. Okay? I was able to. Okay? Bake. My wife will bake me cookies tonight. That's not true. My daughter will. Okay, hey, we got these four down. We got these four down. Last period, we had about five or six kids who were a little, they were a little uh, behind. Just let me know. But the good news is you can go online and get it. But I'm not just going to race through because I need you to know what these are. Okay, we're going to see some examples right now of these in action. So here we go. Jared, I'm sorry, Jenny and Sam ran to the store. Every person in this room can run to the store. Okay, ran is the action that is occurring. Now the question becomes, who is it that is running? Jenny. And Sam. Sam. There we go. Sam. Perfect. In the evening, the ducks swim in the pond. Swim is the action that who is doing? Ducks. Ducks, that's right. See how the verb and the noun go together. Very important that we understand this. The squirrel gathered food at the campsite. Squirrel. Squirrel, thank you. The squirrel is the one gathering the food. So as we go through this, we will see that Jenny and Sam are the nouns completing the action. The action is ran. In this case, ducks is the noun completing the action. And in this case, it is the squirrel that is the noun that is completing the action. Mm -hmm. Very easy stuff. You know this, you maybe didn't know you knew it. Actually, in this case, you probably knew it. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Ready? What the heck is a linking verb? You know, you need to know this. You need to know this. Write this down. A linking verb connects a subject of the verb to additional information about the subject. Right, I know it's long. Write it down. I'll give you about two minutes. Write that first thing down. And then if you finish with that, write the examples down. Down here at the bottom. There are three examples down there. You're doing a great job. This is how you earn stuff in my class. You do great work and you earn stuff. Uh, action link irregular. I R R E G irregular. We'll probably get to that tomorrow. I'll see if I can't make it to food. Mm -hmm. Oh, we don't have. Do I would just, I would just run it. Phones. I would run it. Yeah. She's not using the phone in my class. Come on, quiet! No, no, no. Write this. Write this. And this verb. Because we got about ten minutes. Yeah. No, we have about two minutes to write this, one minute to write this, but 10 minutes till the class is over. And I want to go over examples, real life examples in which you can earn Smarties. Oh, Raise your hand, type of stuff. You got to do it right. You got to do the right thing. Okay? Please shorten it. I will. 
Can we what? Can we shorten it? Yes, by all means. Just make it make sense. Okay? He asked if we were allowed to shorten it. And by all means, go ahead, shorten it if you want. Okay? That's all right. Most certainly. What? Yes. No, that's a great question, though. No. All right, here we go. Linking verbs. You're, you're going to see this in action, and you're going to think to yourself, well, that makes total sense, Mr. Neiman. I know. Again, you know it. You just don't know that you know it. Or you don't know how to categorize it. And now you're learning how to sift through and categorize these verbs. All right? So here we go. If you didn't get it, just go back to my YouTube channel and get it. So here we go. Linking verbs. The students are excited about the field trip. This is not a verb. This is not, watch, this is not a verb. 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 And this is not a verb. Can you are? That doesn't make any sense at all. I can run. I can bake. I can skip. I can hop. I cannot are. So here's the deal. This is why this is a linking verb. It is a non-action verb that we put into a sentence because it is becomes the verb. So check this out. He looks exhausted. You don't know this, but this is the noun and this is the adjective. This is the verb. It's describing how he looks. Or that, that's the verb, okay? The puppies were playful. Playful is an adjective that describes the puppies. This is a definite article describing which puppies, and this is our verb, yes. So if, so if it wasn't looks, if it was looks instead of looks, it wouldn't be a looking verb? He look exhausted? No, like, oh. look in general. Oh, yeah, yeah, gotcha. So um, how would we make this a verb, an action verb? Is that what you're asking? How do we make this an action verb? Huh? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how you'd make that an action verb. Uh, look is an action. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So your point is, I can look, therefore that is an action. But in this case, it is not a verb. He is not looking. Okay? He looks exhausted. They're describing how he looks. So the idea is that is a linking verb. Now watch this. The linking verb R links the students to excited. In this case, the linking verb looks links he to exhausted. And in this case, were links puppies to playful. 